Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a WordPress site within um, your Bluehost.com web space. In order to complete this process you're going to need to have purchased web space and also to have login into Bluehost.com and that's about it. Now before we start I'd just like to talk a little bit about what WordPress is. WordPress is a CMS or content management system and that's an application that takes a lot of the technical work out of creating a website and allows you to get on with the business of creating content more easily. Okay, now in order to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser. Here we go, I'll open up Google Chrome. And first I'm going to go to my web space that I've previously purchased and what you will notice is that there's a page there. I didn't put it there. That's something that was put there by default by Bluehost. So this is what I want to replace when I create my WordPress site in this space. Okay. What I'll do now is I'll open another tab up at the top and we're going to go to Bluehost.com this is where I've purchased my web space and you'll notice in the upper right hand corner is a link to the uh, control panel and this is how you control your space and projects within blue space so let's click that um, I've typed in my web address at the top and underneath I'm going to carefully enter my password I found that uh, Bluehost has pretty strict password requirements so You've experienced that yourself when you signed up. And now I'm going to log in. Okay, when we first arrive, we're going to see some of the standard options that you get here. Um, there's a lot you can do with this space. It's not limited to WordPress. And we'll come back and visit some of these at another time. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to point out to you the how-to video section that's up over here and they do have some nice tutorials on working with WordPress especially for those who are getting started but we'll come back to those at another time right now what we're going to do is we're going to look for your control panel and here's one way to access your control panel on the right and up on the top there's another link they get you to the same place so it doesn't really matter we'll enter the control panel and you'll notice lots and lots of controls. We have mail controls, um, website builders underneath that, and you'll see WordPress as part of that group. Uh, there's something called Mojo Marketplace, which we'll learn about in a few minutes, and just lots of other options here. We can spend a lot of time learning how to use these tools. But since our current video is talking about how to create that WordPress site, we'll do that now. So under Website Builders, we're going to find the WordPress icon. It's the white W on the blue circle. And there it is. And we're going to click it. And now we've come to the WordPress installer. Notice, up at the top, we've left Bluehost, or actually a new tab has opened. And we're now at a place called Mojo Marketplace. And a lot of web hosting companies will use... Um, something like Mojo Marketplace to do their installs. They specialize in it and that's what we're going to use. We have two options that it's presenting to us at this point. The green uh, start button and also you can see over there an import button in a gray color. So there's the start button and the start button would give us a brand new install and the import button would be if we'd created the WordPress maybe somewhere else and we'd exported it we could bring it into our, our space here. But we're going to click a new install. So we'll click the green start. Notice that it knows my web address from my login. And that's the root or the very top level of my web space. There is another box, a little hard to see over on the right. And this would allow me to create a folder in which to put my project. Now we don't want to do that in this case. But it's good to know if I want to make another project, I can create space for that and put it, um, put it in there. Instead, we're just going to leave it in the default space at the root, and we're going to click the Check Domain button. We'll spin for a few minutes, 
and then we're going to get this message that says basically oops there's something in that space that you um, do you really want to replace it now what's in that space I didn't put anything in that space but if you do remember when we checked your site originally let's go back uh, Bluehost left a page in there I guess that's what it's finding and it's going to be okay to erase that we don't we don't mind so we're going to check the box and two more check two more check boxes appear the first is show advanced features and when you click that one it opens up and there are things like your site name um, username it's going to create a password for you you did not create that password and email address etc now you can edit these here but you can also edit them after the WordPress is created so in our case we're going to um, remove the check from the box up in the top and we'll take care of all this after our WordPress is created we don't need to worry about it right now so there you go okay the second box is simply saying that you've read the terms and conditions of the site you can use the link all the way over on the right the blue link to read those if you'd like and you can there it is um, and then you have two options again you can change the install location if you've had second thoughts um, make a new folder as we talked about before or you can just install which is what we're going to do now so we're going to click the button to install and you can see it's spinning it's creating a lot of files it's it's putting everything it needs for the WordPress into that space over on um, Bluehost that we've asked it to do um, and these files are going to help us manage the site and make it a lot easier for us to create a website and post content very very quickly now this process may take a little while because it is creating a lot of files so um, we don't have to sit and wait I think what we'll do here is we'll stop the video for a minute or two and let it proceed but just know that it is normal that this take a little while and we'll come back when when the site has been created successfully okay here we are again we can see now that we have a message that the site has been cre created successfully um, it gives us a little bit of information about the site things that we really already know so status it's been it's a success the URL which we knew and the second link is showing us where we log in to manage the WordPress and we'll come back to that later in another video it also shows us our username and password and some other options down on the bottom again we'll address these in WordPress later but for now it's good to know that our WordPress is created if I revisit my website and hit the hit enter to refresh the page I'll see that I now have a fully functioning um, WordPress site and next video we'll learn how to change the theme or make it look a little different